Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video is part two of the collaboration that I'm doing with uh, Mandy from Hope Designs and Muna from Mona Rosa Art. We are, I think we're doing three collaborations total. The idea was for each of us to pick colors that everyone had to do. And last week's video, Muna picked earth tones. And so this week it was my turn and I had gotten a few new paints that I'd wanted to try. So I kind of built the, the paints, the colors around that, the palette around that. And um, so I kind of said loosely, you know, a pinky, a pinky color, a uh, like an aqua or an aqua green or a teal color, obviously purple, <laughs> um, an interference of their choice. And then a gold, you know, could be light or dark. And then either like a magenta or a red violet. Those were the colors that I picked. So I will show you exactly uh, the colors that I used and how they were mixed up. And today's pouring medium, I'll be using the Infinity. I really love it. <laughs> but if anybody, um, I did go and get another gallon. Just, just a little note on the Infinity. It is pricey. And I don't know if word's gotten out that people are buying it because they raised the price at my lows. <laughs> I went to go grab another gallon because I'm hoarding it a little. <laughs> it was $46 a gallon, now it's $50. So um, I'm not happy about that. I did get um, a quart of the the showcase. There's there's a showcase, it's a red can. It's the Sherwin-Williams HGTV exclusively for Lowe's. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard good things about it. I've heard it works like the Infinity, so that, that might be next on my list to test, but I digress. Let's go get started with this collaboration piece. And again, um, like the last time we did the collab, I'm gonna put, put their links to their videos down below. And the idea is we're gonna release it all at the same time. And you watch, if you're watching mine first, then go and watch theirs afterwards. So let's go get started painting. All right, this is an eight inch MDF panel. Uh, I get these at the Build Across, the same uh, the same place. If you saw my Valentine's Day pour, those uh, funky, crooked-looking hearts, this is the same place. But these are uh, a quarter inch, and then this is an eight inch uh, MDF panel. I'm just gonna secure it with a little pillow paint. So it doesn't go flying off on me. And the pillow paint I am, oops, the pillow paint I'm using today is back to my normal, my Glidden Premium and Eggshell. That should be enough right now. Just there. And all of my paints are mixed up with the Infinity Joe Sonia pouring medium, mixed three to one. All the uh, all the still images of everything I'm using today will be at the beginning of this video as I normally put them. But I will also let you know as I'm laying things down what they are. So the first color I'm trying, I'm trying out some new paints that I got. This is. Matisse Fluid. It is Australian Salmon Gum. And it looks like this. It's a bit thinner consistency because it is a fluid. We're going to roll with it. I'm kind of testing uh, fluids because I usually use a lot of tube paints. Um, and I've heard I I've heard of this Matisse brand, but I never had any, so I wanted to try the fluid. So I got um, I got a couple of bottles, uh, two different colors, just to try them. And then the next color I'm going to lay down is Golden Fluid, the iridescent gold, just the regular iridescent gold. Oops. That's in the way. That's what that looks like. Put a little bit more down. All right. 
you're moving you're moving this way I don't I don't want you to go that way yet <laughs> all right the next one I'm gonna put down is I've got a sample of the well you're not gonna really be able to see it let's see if you can see in the light this is uh, this little piggy it's called Comet and it's an interference red I don't have the uh, the container because I only had a sample but it's basically an interference red and that's the consistency that should be good I'm just gonna have to move you. I've got I've got a little lump on my uh, on my spinner. I've got to take my press and seal off and clean it because it's leaning. <laughs> I just haven't done it yet. Probably after this one. All right. The next color is another. The second Matisse I got to try. It is Aqua Green Light. And that's the consistency of it. more of this. I'd like it to show through. We'll see. All right. And then I have Utrecht, which is Utrecht with, am I saying that right? Utrecht, which is Dick Blix paint line. This is their fluid and it's uh, red violet. And that's the consistency. All right. I want a lot of this color too. I really, really like this color. And then my last color I'm going to put down is Golden Fluid Dioxazine Purple. And that's what that consistency looks like. Oh, now you're going this way. <laughs> purple to completely take over. I'm trying to scatter it. Okay, this is this is a wide color. I'm going to have quite the blowout with this one. Today's cell activator, I'm going to be using two and I'm going to be using up my Amsterdam. I've got Amsterdam titanium white that I'm going to lay down first and then Amsterdam oxide black. Sinking a little fast. Put a little bit more around there.
Noticing sometimes with thinner paints at the outer edges, if I can catch the cell activator, I get cute little cells. They're probably going to fly off anyways, but at least while I'm putting this together. All right, what to do? I might want to put something in here because there's just too much white there. And I couldn't get any little cute cells to come up. over just a little bit hmm. I think I'm pretty good I blew out some of the petals not too many modifications there's a lot of nice cells that are going to open up once I spin and all this I don't think I'm going to just I'm not going to do anything with because it's just going to come off anyways I think we're good. I am going to meet you over at the spinner box. All right. I have got a ton of paint on here. I do not need to <laughs> put any more on. Here's what this looks like before we spin it out. All right. Here we go. spinner is part of the painting. I love it. That is so cool. <laughs> I have not had that happen before. I had a lot of paint, but this looks so cool. I love how the cells in the center, they kind of waved themselves. So I didn't have to, I didn't have to uh, modify them, but I do have to get a little bit more paint off. I feel like I need to take a picture of this. <laughs> My spinner as part of the as part of the the piece. That's so cool. And I love that all you can see about all the colors in here also. So neat. All right, just one more little baby spin I think we're good yeah I love those cells in the middle how they're kind of they're not being squirrely they're wiggling in just the right way yeah that's so cool <laughs> I'm just gonna bring it up to show you just the whole thing because it's it's kind of the extended spinner that's so awesome i don't wanna but i gotta <laughs> gotta separate you oh, there's a lot going on it is so cool 
gonna get cleaned up and I'm gonna bring you over for the flyover of this one. Here's the flyover of this guy. I love that it has a mind of its own. I mean, the colors are just so vivid in here. I get spots of shimmer also, but it's just, I love this right over here. It almost looks like right here, it almost looks like 3D cells, and those little webbing cells there. It's just, it's right up my alley. I really like psychedelic type all just all over the place. <laughs> so this took a mind of its own. This this had a mind of its own and I just I just let it do its thing. I love this center. It, it, I know it's not um you know, normally you want your centers to be a bit more not kind of movie flowy, but I feel like it just kind of flowed all on its own. I had to let it do its thing. <laughs> It almost looks like an angel in there somehow. I don't know. I just get that feeling there. But just, it's just really wild. I absolutely dig this piece. And all the colors are really represented well. So I am going to let this dry and I will be back to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me do. And it dried beautifully. <laughs> I'll never stop gushing about this infinity. Bring it in. It's just all, I mean, it, it, as you saw it wet, it, it dried just the same. And the colors are just gorgeous in this piece. I don't think you can see the sparkle. I'm trying to get it in the light, but without the sparkle, but I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> but it's there. It's subtle, but it's there. But just these colors are just dynamic. And I know it's a little wild for some people, but not for me. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it represents the colors I chose pretty well. There we go. That's a good shot of it, too. I'm definitely going to resin this piece once it's ready. And again, this was an MDF, so I will put the link to the Build Across down below in the description box. So like last time with the collab, the last collab I did with uh, Muna and Mandy, <clears throat> please go check out their their videos. Their, I, I can't wait. I'm going to go check them out myself. The links to their videos are down below in the description box. So with that, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.